Welcome. Greetings. Ah, welcome to the Scolia Arcana, young one. How may I be of assistance? Most would tell you that the Scolia Arcana is the continent's premier journal and lecture society, an order of learned mages and scholars. And that is true. It is simply not the whole truth. To learn what the Scolia Arcana truly is, you'll need to become one of us. I will confess we have been watching your progress for some time. It would please us greatly were you to become a member of our order. Savant Ethan Engar has already been selected to serve as your mentor, in fact. But he is away, currently serving as ambassador in the Fey city of Issa. To begin the rituals necessary to join the Scolia Arcana, you will need to find him there first. You can find me here. Good evening. Hello. Welcome to the Issa chapter house of the Scolia Arcana. How may I be of assistance? Traditionally, our applicants undergo years of preparation, but we understand your circumstances are somewhat irregular. Ever since you entered the city, we've been watching you. After all, an endorsement from Nerolim is not quickly dismissed. If it is your wish to join our order, you must first complete the trial of initiation. It is a ritual that will better equip us to understand what place you might have among us. I will not lie, some do not survive the ordeal. Of those who do, only a select few are chosen to become members of our order. Then first I shall present you with this. It is the story of the order's founding and a good primer for all who wish to join our ranks. Now I shall summon the circle of mages necessary to perform the ritual. Savant Engar will lead the trial. Speak to him in the Delving Hall when you're ready to begin. It is not for me to divulge the details of the trial. I can only advise that you do not take the risk lightly. Farewell. Greetings. Greetings. I will be the savant presiding over your trial of initiation. 
Traditionally, applicants have prepared for the challenges of this trial through years of study and training. But as Augra mentioned, we realize you are unique. Do you have any questions before we begin? This is a fluid magic. The form it takes varies according to the power and nature of the ritual's focus. In this case, you. The goal is a simple one. Survive. Like every Scolia Arcana member before you, to join our ranks, you must first confront the specter of your potential. And be aware that I am watching. Now, proceed into the center of the circle to begin. Good luck. Not the most welcome place, is it? Is that a power of horses? Don't pay me for the branding to this year. Don't pay me for the branding to this year. Don't pay me for the The first phase of the trial is complete. Another cave. How interesting. Something is terribly wrong. Ahead, I sense another's presence in the trial.
Where am I? What is this place? I am the Dark Empyrean, and I will not be bound by you or those you serve. I could kill you now, but I have plans for those who watch from the shadows. Now be gone. Ugh. Such power. One moment we were linked, sustaining the magic of the trial, and then an arc of energy, the likes of which I have never seen burst from you. Three mages lay dead, and two have fled screaming. I know the trial is not meant to be shared, but what in Lyria's name happened? A woman masked in shadow? I will need to consult my books. Perhaps later we can discuss the details. For now, we have dead to bury and missing mages to find. As for the formalities, you have proven yourself worthy in the trial of initiation. In the name of the Scolia Arcana, I hereby confer unto you the title of Neophyte. Welcome to the Order. Come speak to me when you're ready to be of use. I am sending you to the ruin of Aeon, to the south. There, the element of fire thrives as though it has a life of its own. After your initiation trial, the magic in Aeon shifted. I believe this magic is tied to you, Initiate. Confronting it might yield some answers. Followers of Raycor dwell within. They have quite the affinity for fire, as do other creatures found there. As for what may be causing the recent swelling in power emanating from the ruin, your guess is as good as mine. Where did I put my quill? Ah! A new student.
What have we here? I hoped you would come. After all, I owe you so much. How can I repay you for what you've done? There was a time when kings begged me to read their fortunes. Shall I read yours? The woman whose body I'm wearing shares the sentiment. Right now, she's trying to tell you to kill me. I've crafted what I needed. Perhaps you would like to oblige her? It was Nuala Ignis who stirred the magics of Aeod. At least now we may restore the balance of the ruin before the rest of Dalentarth is engulfed in flames. What is this? You caught her crafting this, you say? Remarkable. Just utterly remarkable. That might explain her behavior. Breaching the seals of Aeod should have been far beyond her capacity. Not to mention whatever this is, I have never seen the like. It is as if the element of fire were given physical form. You have done well. I have another assignment for you when you are ready. In the meantime, I shall be studying this... Uh, sunstone. Adept Fell recently began investigating some disappearances in Melaglia. I haven't heard from her in some time. I want you to go to Melaglia in the plains of Erethel. A member of our order will meet you on your way there to give more information. Do not keep your contact waiting. And when you sorted the business with Lerkara out, meet me at the Rathia chapter house. Hmm? Oh, uh, goodbye then.
pyroclastic resonance, body temperatures still well above ambient, and freshly broken earth. Ah, forgive my manners. You were sent to meet a contact, and here I am. Jubal Calidus, Arch Sage of the Scolia Arcana. If you would be so kind as to ready your weapons, I believe we are about to be attacked. You will be in my throat. <laughs> Exaggerate your prowess, but it was a pity what happened to this caravan. I follow their trail from Melaglia in the hope that they carried a letter from the missing adept fell, and indeed I was correct. I believe this should go to you. The message names are lightly suspect. Continue onward then to Melaglia. Speak to this Patrick Morgan and find what befell our missing colleague. I am not accustomed to being questioned by anyone, even newcomers as promising as you. See to your task, Neophyte, and remember, whatever attacked Adept Fell is not to be underestimated. You will be in my thoughts. Hello there. On a darkling wind she rose, gripped within impassioned throes, and I, her chosen witness, proud, did fall beneath her endless shroud. Something about you reminded me of a verse. Of course, the poet was discussing death. I am Patrick Morcan. How may I be of assistance? Ah, her. A particularly belligerent woman, if I recall. I believe she left our village recently for parts unknown. Master Dace made quite the fuss. Apparently, she left her possessions in a footlocker in her room. I suppose she left in a hurry. Me? How would I possibly know? So good of you to stop by. Good day.
doing sending a neophyte to rescue me doesn't he understand what's going on here there is a necromancer in Mel Aglia look around you Patrick Morkin's wife may have died from natural causes but nothing natural brought her back I know because I've been watching her walking corpse feast on prisoners for over a week she and her husband are nearby if you strike quickly you can catch them by surprise and end this horror I barely light a candle in my current state. The undoubtedly messy task of killing Patrick Morkin and his dead wife falls to you. Go for the sorcerer first. Once he is dead, the magic that animates his wife's corpse will dissipate. Then perhaps this nightmare will be over. In the meantime, I will make my way back to the Raven to recuperate. Hurry! This isn't what it looks like. Oh, fine. I'll admit it. I've tried to bring her back from the grave. Is it really so hard to understand? Have you never been in love? I'll say one thing. Your timing is impeccable. I think she's hungry, and you'll make quite the feast. So good of you. <laughs>
this, I'm grateful to be alive. And uneaten. It was lucky that you showed up when you did. I must say, I'm impressed, Neophyte. Few of your rank would be able to handle a necromancer of Morkin's power. I will remain behind, attend to the village. You should report to Savant Engar as quickly as you can. Farewell. Frosted blood to Captain of the Watch. The Do siege not miss the grips of many marvels. Move along! Romancer was behind Melaglia's disappearing villagers. Disturbing. My suspicions regarding you potential were well founded. You are forthwith promoted to the rank of docent. As a docent, your first order of business is to the west to speak with a man named Anker Edmure. You are to liaise with a man named Anker Edmure. A rather enthusiastic sage crafter from the village of Emea to the west. He often sends reports of mystical occurrences that usually turn out to be exaggerated tales of inebriated fever dreams. His latest cry for help, however, may hold some truth. Go to Emea, speak to the man, and find out what he means by Shardfall has come alive. Be well. Ah, my favorite docent. Let me know when you have... In the meantime, I will continue... Be well. Good evening. with the Scoli Arcana, are you not? I'm so very honored to make your acquaintance. I know what I wrote was vague. At, at first, I, I didn't know what I was dealing with. It's just... Shardfall. It's changed. Shardfall is a cave to the west and north. It's a good place to harvest shards, uh, hence the name. The place always has a bit of a chill, but recently the cave became cold and it howls like it's angry. Many days passed, my assistant, Donald Cutty, delved into the cave to collect samples. He never returned. I had no choice. The cold of the cave is too great. Not six steps in, my boots froze to the very rock. That's why I've been devising a talisman to stay warm. The work is almost complete too. 
I just need one last thing. Will you aid me? Perhaps together we can solve this mystery. After I failed to make it deeper into Shardfall than just a few steps, I put up a barrier. No need to have some poor fool stumble in there by mistake. The barrier will let you through if you have an amulet that can keep you warm. Like one made from a Bargast's heart. A Paragon Bargast, that'll do just fine. I've heard of one ranging north of a mare. If you can kill it, fetch me its heart, and I will be able to complete my pendant. Later then. Bargist. Incredibly tough creatures they are. Give me a moment. There, take it. You're better suited to plumbing the depths of Shardfall than I. You can now brave the cold to investigate exactly what's happening. Years ago I read a treatise from Savant Hadris Llewellyn that suggested frost magic was particularly potent there, but I never gave it much thought. All I really know is something dark is happening within. Be cautious. I'll be here.
I wondered when you would find me. Almost enough to make you believe in fate, isn't it? The woman I wore last time we danced wasn't as strong as this one. Perhaps I flatter myself to think I might offer a better challenge now. <laughs> Sedeus, the Crystal Weir. That is what this place was called once. Much more appropriate a name than Shardfall, don't you think? My people have lost their appreciation for language, it seems. So much has changed since I last walked the world. That was long ago, when I learned the only answers worth seeking lie in death, mortal. Death, and death alone. Oh, how delightful you are. Such youth, such naivete. I could just devour you. Like I did that poor gem cutter I found in here. One day, perhaps I'll do just that. For now, though, I must conclude our dialogue. My time is wearing thin, and I tire of your prattle. This body has served its purpose. Let's see if you've learned any new tricks since our last meeting. Learn what happened to my assistant, please let me know. Yeah, that's his ring, all right. What a shame. He had real talent and a promising future. Here, take these. I made them for Donald to help him in his pursuits of sage crafting. But perhaps you can put them to good use. Be here. So many new things. Nothing finer in all our lore. Just not look at the grips, many marvels. Welcome to Rathia. Uh. The new initiate that has everyone talking. I heard how indispensable you were in stopping that necromancer in Melaglir. I am Erin Methneen. Savant Angar suggested that I congratulate you on what he estimated would be an inevitable victory, and that I give you this. Additionally, he requested that you meet him atop the mountain of Skycrown to the south. I have no idea why, but the note will likely explain further. Good luck! Hello.
Stars across the night sky. The varied elements of magic arrange themselves throughout our world in different patterns. This place is a convergence of one such pattern. The focus of the energies of air and light. Exactly so. This place is to lightning what Aeon is to fire. What Sedeus is to ice. Your power has grown so much in so short a time. It is just astonishing, really. I am proud to have guided you this far. At first, I thought I could contain her, that I could keep her at bay, but I was vain. Her power is vast, and she is tireless. Ever since your initiation trial, she has been worming deeper into my mind. She made me wait until you arrived. I cannot fight her any longer. So, I must try to end my life here. We need to adopt her scheme. Whatever the cost.
was clever. It took a great effort to break his mind, and at the last moment he sought to deny my victory. Unfortunately for you, he failed. Are you beginning to see the pattern, child? From flame and frost and storm I take my form. Who am I? I have eaten the fruit of Irmansul, the Tree King, and sown blood into the fields of Aesir Danon. I have sucked marrow from the bones of Irathi, and listened to the laments of dying stars. I am the Empyrean, the Dark-Hearted, the Lady of Sorrow and Dust. I will not bow to your will. Now die! <coughs>
Move along! back. As much as I'm dying to know what transpired atop Sky Crown, that'll just need to wait until the Arch Sage is through with you. He requested you join him in his quarters, just around the corner down the hall. Hello. of our savants, Yuala Kadok, and Ethan. She is here. She has come for me at last. She is the one that has stalked the minds of our greatest mages. But there is a more troubling history than that. Once I have been freed, there will be plenty of time to discuss her true nature. I am not the Arch Sage without cause. I had prepared myself for this manner of attack. It is how I can speak with you now. She is assuming control of my uncontrolled thoughts. I cannot venture out of this sanctum, lest I fall to her. You must thwart her plans. Take this, the true history of our order. It is the only help I can give you now. Sorceress has taken over some parts of my mind. They will be strong, magnified aspects of myself. Be wary. You are too late, child. Even if you halt my ensnarement of the Arch Sage's mind, I have already accomplished what I needed. I have seen all that I need to see, and you have served your purpose well. All you will do is strike down this man's twisted determination. The world might thank you, in time. But this is not the only hook into his mind. 
There are so many flaws to exploit. You see all the parts of himself he ignored. The sacrifices he made to become the arch-sage he thinks he is. And they shall rise again. Taste his ambition. You will- <laughs> I see that my attempts to take hold of the Arch Sage's ambitions were less than successful. Not that he cares. There are, after all, so many flaws for me to hook into, to exploit. Already I have gleaned from his thoughts all I need. Perhaps you would like to know his feelings towards me, Ciara Sedanus? Yes. I am the tyrant queen of the Dark Empyrean. The fools of the Scolia Arcana believe I was killed, but the Arch Sage knows the truth. It is, perhaps, why he has surrendered all hope. He knows I cannot be defeated, only delayed. In all the minds I have seen, there have been none that carried such indifference as this Arch Sage. Does he care about the wars that wage across his land? No. Does he care for the lives of his subordinates? Not in the slightest. He long ago surrendered to the inevitability of my return. I will do battle. Not quite yet. I wish to bask a while longer in this man's pathetic apathy. But know that I am close. Close to freedom. I have learned all I needed. When I walk once more, you will learn the cost of your ignorant threats. Now let us see how well you fare. Not against me, but against some of the nightmares dwelling within your arch sage's head. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
I no longer feel the prying of Sardanus on my mind. You have freed me of her. Thank you, Adept. By freeing me of her influence, I can distill for you those thoughts you have liberated. From my ambition, I can impart to you an indomitable resolve. From my indifference, I can craft a fearless impartiality. The choice is yours. I am the Arch Sage, but I am also a human. There were certain flaws of character that I had repressed. Sardanus intensified those flaws until they threatened to overcome me. By destroying them, you freed me of these flaws. I can give you the knowledge of this freedom. From my indifference, I can impart to you a sense of fearlessness. Through ambition, you can gain a will to strive for perfection. In many ways, they seem similar, but to you, the effects are disparate. Indeed, you have shown enough of it on your own for one lifetime, but we will need all we can muster to face the coming storm. Now, are we able to depart? We have much to do in order to begin. Good. When we return, speak with me. The sorceress will not be suffered any longer. Hello. Good evening. I am sure you have questions, and I shall do my best to answer them. First, let me say this. No adept in the history of the Scolia Arcana has earned the Savant's ring more than you. Take it with my gratitude. Now prepare yourself. The time for suffering the predations of our enemy is at an end. It is our turn to strike. It is time for you to learn the truth of our order. The truth of Sierra Sardanus and the fall of the Dark Empyrean. Sierra Sardanus was never killed, Savant. She was imprisoned within the very stones of Rithia. Because of you, she has awakened, and though trapped, she has proven formidable. Now to destroy her, we must release her. When Ethan Engar cast the ritual for your initiation trial, he created a magic whose purpose was to conjure that which could challenge your potential. None could have anticipated that. To do so, the magic of the ritual would actually find Sardanus buried deep within her prison. The smallest part of her consciousness was summoned into your trial. Once awakened, she began using the minds of those involved to craft her escape. The truth of the Scoliarcana's founding, its true purpose, is a secret that has been passed down from Arch Sage to Arch Sage. We have many savants within our order, those supremely gifted in the arts of alchemy or sagecrafting or scholarship. But there is a reason that Arch Sages are chosen according to their mastery of war magic. Because one day, Sardanus will return, and one must be prepared to face her. Since her awakening, Sardanus has been reaching out from her prison and possessing mages within our order. 
Her goal was the creation of three elemental keys. The sun, storm, and frost stones that you hold now. We will use these keys exactly as Sardanus intended. We will free her, and I will kill her. The brilliant Savaladan Bloodgood led the Founders to build the very grounds of the Scolia Arcana into a spell. The glyph that imprisons Sardanus. Let the magic guide you. Walk the grounds and place each key with the appropriate Founder and the spell will be undone. When Sardanus is free, join me at the center of the glyph. She will emerge and I shall make my stand. Good luck. Now is not the time. Good luck. Anticipated this moment to savor the sweet taste of freedom and to destroy the legacy of those that imprisoned me and I owe it all to you From the beginning you've played your part with a bright perfection each step in harmony with my will fool So much potential it is a pity. I have to kill you now Arch Sage. What silly titles you children use. That wretch would have been a servant in the Dark Empyrean. But rest assured, he is safe now. Deep within the very same spell that bound me. And he will rot there for all eternity. How eager you are. I'm the one who spent the last seven centuries trapped within a prison. Very well. Until today, you've tasted but a glimmer of my power. Now behold the might of the Dark Empyrean!
You have done what no other member of our order could. You have faced Ciara Sedanus and emerged victorious. After your trial of initiation, Jubal Calidus gave this to me. I realize now he meant for you to have it upon his death. The Scolia Arcana owes you everything, and are now yours to command, Archsage. <laughs>